Welcome to the prayer channel. It's time to meet the King, to meet King Jesus, Son of God and Son of Man. Today we're reading scriptures that show us what it is like to meet the King. And as we read these scriptures, we're going to meet the King. Matthew 28, 9 says, And behold, Jesus met them and greeted them, and they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Luke 34, verses 30 to 32 say, Now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. And they said to one another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us on the road, and while he opened the scriptures to us? Revelation 1, 13 to 16 says, And in the middle of the lampstands, I saw one like a son of man, clothed in a robe, reaching to the feet, and girded across his chest with a golden sash. His head and his hair were white like wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze, when it has been made to glow in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters. Revelation 19.11 says, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wages war. King Jesus, it is an honour to meet you today. Thank you, Lord, that you're with each of us in our homes, in our spaces, Lord. Thank you that you inhabit our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls and our spirits. Thank you, Jesus, that you are God. Thank you for the Trinity. Thank you for the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that you came to the earth to walk among men and women, just like us, Lord. And you showed us miracles, signs and wonders. And you taught us the truth of how we can enter into eternity by believing unto you and believing all you did on the cross for our sins and believing that there is a God in heaven who loves us, who's chosen us, who sent us here with a plan and a purpose. King Jesus, it's an honor to meet you today, to meet you afresh. Yes, Lord, many of us will say we know you in many different ways, Lord. But today, Lord, you're always calling us deeper. So this meeting today, Lord, we just thank you that it's new, that it's fresh, that it's different. Lord, we thank you that the disciples met you at the table. And Lord, you broke bread and blessed it and gave it to them. And they had their eyes opened and they knew it was you. After you died and rose again, you appeared to them. And then you vanished, Lord. But Lord, their hearts burned. Did not our hearts burn within us while they talked with you on the road? And as you opened the scriptures to them, Lord, would we say the same? Would our hearts burn? Would our hearts burn? Because you've made us understand life and death, heaven and hell, what it is to live for you, what it is to sacrifice and to surrender our lives to you. Lord, you've helped us to see you in a new way. And Lord, we're grateful. Thank you, Lord, that you are alive, Lord. You are alive. You're not a dead God, you're a living God. And that's why we're able to meet you each day. That's why we're able to come and physically meet you because you are alive. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, that you've called us to follow you. Thank you, Lord, that you called us to serve you. Lord, we serve you, King Jesus. We desire to serve you with all we have. Lord, the meeting that we've had in the past and the meeting that we're having right now, Lord, 
is a stark reminder of the truth of your presence and of your majesty lord we can only bow down in reverence before you it's an honor to meet you lord it's an honor to get a sense of your presence around us lord lord i pray for everyone that is praying this prayer lord that they would tangibly feel you standing by them standing beside them in the room lord lord would they see and feel you lord would you flood their homes would you flood their hearts lord would you drive out all forces of darkness around them jesus as we meet you lord would you change us in a new way would we be restored would we be cleansed would we be filled with the hope that is in you lord we just ask that you would move mightily move mightily in our situations lord when we meet you we're changed forever we are completely changed forever so lord we ask that you would meet with us daily each day lord would you destroy the works of darkness around us and in our lives lord each day Lord, each day we come to you, each day we decide to surrender and pray to you and join in with the millions of others who are around the world, Lord, who do the same daily, Lord God. Billions, Lord, who believe in you across the globe. Lord, as we join with them daily, Lord God, Lord, would you touch us, touch us, meet with us, speak to us hold us lord lord we need your hand we need you we need you to hold us lord we need you to love us lord and we thank you that you do love us so lord pour out your love pour out your love over all your children today everyone who's here pour out your love lord and would you bless us bless us lord in jesus name We've prayed. Amen.